All right, all right. Welcome back. Come on in. Grab a seat. My name is Dan. I'm from Viking Designs. This is episode six. All right, so this is a big deal, guys. I'm making the switch. I'm doing it. I'm making the switch. What switch, you ask? I'm switching platforms. For the longest time, I've been using Makita. I probably bought my first kit when I was like 17, 18 years old. I've been using Makita tools for like over 15 years and honestly, I think Makita is the shit, really. But uh, yeah, I just felt like it was time for a change, you know? One of the main reasons I wanted to switch, everyone uses Makita, like everyone uses Makita. Everyone on my site uses them. Other job sites I go to, everyone's got Makita, there's Makita chargers and batteries and shit just floating around everywhere and you write your name on it and your name wears off and you swear that you came to work with five batteries but now you've only got four i mean yeah it was kind of just doing my head in i'd pull up at a job that i was maybe doing on my own get my kid out and realize i had like no batteries with me it was killing me really so i felt like it was time to jump off find something else and yeah i spoke to a Milwaukee rep. He came around, gave us some tools. Man, I really liked it. I really liked the Milwaukee stuff. I don't know, ergonomically, I don't feel like it was as nice as the Makita. A lot of it felt like clunky and like, like the weight just didn't really sit right in your hand. And like we use these tools all day, so it needs to be comfortable. The other brand I was seriously considering was Dewalt. I've got the Dewalt worm drive skill saw. I've also got like, a little drop saw of theirs and I do love it. The flex vault stuff is amazing. The batteries go forever. I, I was really impressed with the d stuff. So that was a serious contender for me. The other option was the new Makita XGT line, the 40 volt stuff, which kind of competes with the, with the d stuff. But I just didn't like the fact that the tools aren't backwards compatible. I've spent 15 years investing in a platform and they're and now all of those tools are kind of obsolete. Like, I just kind of felt dirty by that. So I figured I would just try something else out. So then I saw the Bosch drop saw, the glide axle drop saw. And I thought, man, that thing looks crazy nice. All of the reviews online is just saying how good it was. I also own the Bosch table saw, which I've been really impressed with. Um, as far as like a job site table saw goes, I found that it was super accurate and yeah, the thing is just a beast. So I was always very impressed with Bosch for that reason. I was looking at the Milwaukee range, the Dewalt range. I kind of was done with Makita and I was also starting to look at all the Bosch stuff. All right, so who did I go with? I know, who, I know you're dying. I know you're dying. Well, let's, let's just get a little drum roll. Bosch. Yep, I went with Bosch. Uh, now, now, wait, wait. I know what you're thinking. Thinking, bro, why the f did you go with Bosch? Well, the reason I went with Bosch, number one, German made. Man, the Germans know how to engineer some good shit. Think Mercedes Benz. Think Festool. Secondly, the power you can get from their 18 volt system. I can get more from an 18 volt circular saw than I can get from most corded circular saws that are sold at a local hardware. Like that's pretty mental to think about. Apparently Bosch's track saw, the battery version is more powerful than the corded version. And both of those versions are more powerful than the Festool version, of which I own. Thirdly, no one has it. So I don't have to go through any more of this, whose battery belongs to who. If it's Bosch, it's mine. Give it here. The fourth reason. Now, I know this isn't worldwide, but in Australia, we get like a six year warranty on all tools and batteries, as long as you register it, which I have. And six years, that is crazy. I don't think I've ever had a battery last six years. They always shit themselves. So if I can get a six year warranty on a battery, I'm taking it. And yeah, that's about it. That's the reason I went with Bosch. I picked up the 305 compound miter saw. 
the barrel jigsaw, the drill, the driver, the multi-tool. Uh, I got like a little sander for free via redemption. Um, got a rotary hammer. Uh, probably some other stuff I can't even remember right now. I went a little crazy. Oh yeah, also got a little vacuum, uh, blower. I just went all out pretty much. My Makita tools, I just gave them to one of the other boys that works for me. Um, so it's still in the family, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to give all this botch stuff a real good run, report back, let you guys know how it's all going. But from early impressions, I'm very happy so far. So yeah, Bosch, there we go. Never would have thought it, but here we are. Anyway, stay tuned. I've got a couple of reviews coming up. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.